welcome back to another episode of Now What Fan. Today, I'll be making dinner. So, first, we're gonna make some french fries. French fries. Is there anything going on in the pan? Yeah, there's some oil up in the pan. Okay, you put a little bit of oil in the pan? Okay. How old are you, sir? 13. Okay, 13 years old. So you're pretty much gonna cook them all, right? Pretty much. Did so you wash your just... hands, sir? Yes. Okay. So much just snip it Okay. That's what you got the knives for over there. Yeah, it's kind of dangerous. It's kind of dangerous when you did that. But okay. You keep doing that. All you gotta do is just take the knife and go up on it. That's all you gotta do. Uh, I don't think they're gonna come out good. Just take the knife, get the knife, and just go up on it. Go up. Yeah, just go up on it. That's all. Um, put it in there. I've never seen nobody do that before. Mm. That's a big. Okay. And I guess we're gonna eat them all. Right? I like the potatoes. That's uh, the the steak fries, but they wanted those kind. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and season them. Uh, season. I already told you what you're gonna put in them. Yes, black pepper and salt. Bring it all down here. Onion powder, pepper. Okay, come down here because I didn't have you on camera. Use what now? Onion powder. Okay. Salt. You can just show it as you as you're doing it. As you're doing it. As you're doing it. Okay. Okay, just sprinkle it all over. Okay. And see, um, and you need to, you're gonna need a spoon too, just kind of stir them. Ooh, that's enough. That's enough. Ooh. I don't like a lot of salt. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I, do you see it in there? Do you see it in there? See the black pepper in there? It's a little bit. Okay, get your spoon so you can stir them up pretty good. You're watching. Yeah, I, I'm watching you as you go over there. Okay. All right. Good hygiene is important. Mm. Is good hygiene are important? A good good clean cleanliness is important. And we're not gonna be here all day washing that, is, are we? Okay. Talk up, cause I can't hear you. Okay. This not thing. Watch, miss the other side. And he has water to to do his thing. Miss both sides. Miss both sides of the paint of the of the handle. Both sides. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And just stir them up pretty good. I would just, what? Well, yeah, I would do this what I do. I just take them and do this right here. In other words, rake them. Because all that salt that you put in them, you want it to be even. And I could let them fry them, but uh, I kind of... We want to kind of, okay, did you stir them real good, rake them real good? Okay, now I would say that those are ready to go in and we can, we can, don't, don't, don't put them, don't put that, don't put that up yet. Don't put the, uh, just leave it over here. 
It's already been wiped out. This counter been wiped out. So you can set that down. Yeah. You can set that down. Okay. You can slide if you like. You can uh put that down on that end down there and bring the hamburger. Because we bring that down, okay. As you're doing the hamburger today, everything has already been washed out. Yeah. I've got a little You put a little water. That's, that's good enough. You don't want too much. I just want enough to, um, cause these kind of hamburgers, they, they have a tendency to get real, well, on the stove, I have to use a little water. Mm -mm. So what, what do you have there, sir? Hamburger. Okay, you need to be talking while you're doing it. So, taking it out. And putting it on. Okay. on. Two. You need to be talking while you while you're okay, doing. Okay, this is kind of hard to do. Can't hear you. This is kind of hard to do. I think I'm gonna have to need some help. You may have to. You have plenty but a knife and just kind of. Or you could probably get that knife, but I'm scared that I'm scared of you messing with the knife. So get a peanut butter knife and kind of put it in between there, and it'll pop right or loose. You gotta talk about what you're doing. No. You gotta talk it okay. throughout the, so. the thing, yeah. Okay, so. It's gonna you, yeah, so. If you stand them up a little bit, so. if, if you stand them all up, and then put the put the knife down in there and it'll pop up. So I'm just gonna put this knife. Uh-huh. Uh, watch your hand, because they still, even though it's a butter knife, it still can cut. Okay, just. Go ahead and get that one taken on out. Mm -hmm. We gotta do it moving faster. So, I'm going to try something. And, we're going to do the third one. Just going to jab it in there. You can go and do them all if you want to. I know. I hear you. This is freezing my hands. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We're going to have this. And get one more. That's it? Mm-hmm. So it's five of them? It's one. I thought it was six. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep, I can't hear you. Time to put some season. Okay. So, these are gonna stop. Just another thing. What kind of season are you using? I'm using. Okay, this old this, bay. You got the talk in the in the video. I'm using old bay season. So, I'm just gonna open this up. To the sprinkle side, to the sprinkle side. Right. Real quick. They don't have a sprinkle side. It's supposed to, but Let me it's see. not really. There's a thin layer right there. You just gotta pull that up. Yeah, on that side right there. Is that it right there? 
I think you put it up on this side right here. Right here. Not on, right here. Well. Oh, I can see. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna break my fan here. Sprinkle where you can see it. it it's do it need the top off. Sprinkle it more like that. It's the top, I mean, it's the thing. Can you hold it up a little bit? Let me see. Mm -mm. No. Mm. Like this. Oh. Like that. I mean, just make sure it's covered. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well. Hmm? Oh. Let's see. You don't want to. You don't want too much. You don't want too, too much. I know some people don't care. I, 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 I don't sprinkle it all in one spot. Sprink, don't sprinkle don't it all in one it. spot. No, just kind of sprinkle it. Wow. I, I, yeah. Where is it at? I think. See how I'm doing like this right here? Yes. That ain't going to make it happen. Maybe that water. Uh, turn them over, flip them over. Don't even worry about that no more. That ain't gonna hit you. Man. Just sprinkle it like I said, like this right here. All the paper off of them? Yes. Like this. Yeah. I don't know why that, like one minute act like it's coming out, next next minute act like it's not coming out. Y'all, I'm not really from, I'm just now starting to use this kind of sauce. I'm not really used to it. I'm used to using the onion, um, the onion salt, I mean onion powder. Uh-uh, you're doing it more like this, like a shake. Like this, no, like this. All you're doing is just this. And if it don't come out, just bring it back. Cause I noticed it just, it likes it better when it, if it don't come out, just bring it back. Like that. And then it'll start back coming out. Yeah, I know it's gonna let you do it. I don't want the whole thing covered. Not covered, covered, but you know. Okay. Not thick. Bring it back. Bring it back. I think so. You want the whole hamburger. You want part of it with season and part of it not with season. I don't, I don't know about this season. I've seen somebody else use this season. I don't know about that. It's, fight, it's fighting against me too much. Mm-mm. Get to find out. And I'm and I'm really not familiar with the season anyway. I just seen somebody that's with it. And I said, well, we can try that. I go back to my uh what's uh the little man. That's what I normally use. And onion I'm I'm I like my onion um powder on my hamburger. So um put a little of that onion powder on that still. Yeah, see I put some of that on there. Cause I like my hamburgers. It tastes like onions. So I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how that's gonna taste because I, I'm not familiar with it. We definitely will know in a short, short. And I use onion powder on it. when I use onion, uh, sprinkle it all over it, not in one spot. You got that in one spot. Uh, uh, sprinkle, sprinkle like this, like a shake. Yeah. Okay. That's enough. That's enough. On oh, no. Okay. 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 Put a little bit more here. That's enough on me. I think that's enough. Onion powder for me, and from what my mother told me, um, she said, "Okay, you can go ahead and get ready to put them in the oven." Um, I'm about to put this in. 
Okay, back to the onion powder right quick before he put him in the oven or he's getting ready to put him in the oven. Uh, she said it's better to get the onion powder instead of the onion salt because that's giving you additional salt and you've already seasoned it with a little salt or whatever. So she said it's always better to get by the onion powder because it's not going to have as much salt in it. So it still can give you that. Turn it sideways, please. Mm -mm, just turn it sideways so both of them can get in there. Turn it sideways so both of them can get in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't let it go. Okay. He's putting both of them in the oven and hopefully we will only be, uh, it would only take about um, the most 20 minutes. Will both of them get in there? No? Okay. Okay, we'll put the, Put the uh, fries up there and put the hamburger meat down there. Swap them up. And I really like to put my top one in first because I don't. I got. I have this pet peeve about putting it on the on the top shelf and something falling down in my food. Okay, so I always put the top one on first. If I'm gonna do a, do more than one thing in the oven. I put my top one in first because I don't want nothing dropping in my food. <laughs> That's just me. Okay, we're going to leave them uncovered for right now because we're going to see how they do and then go from there. And, okay. So, they're in there. Okay, can't hear a word you're saying. They're in there and they're going to cook. Gonna be back. Okay. So, I know we pause for a second. So, I'm on this part too. And I'm about to stir the fries and add a little salt. Okay, don't, you don't have to stir them. Just go ahead and, not right now, you need to go ahead and add it first. Okay, I'll add the salt first. And. Put your, your glasses need to be up so you can see through them. Okay. Okay, that's that should be enough. Okay, stir them up. And the powder, the onion powder. Don't stir them up deep, but down. Put a little onion powder. Put a little onion powder. This is additional because it, it needed just a little bit more. Okay. Tastes pretty good though. Kind of rake it more like, you know, bring them all on one side. And then rake them all back on the other side because you want to make sure air, it, that salt and stuff is evenly. That's the point. That's the point of raking them is to make sure all the salt is evenly. You want all the salt and black pepper on just one or two. You want it on all of them. Okay? Okay. Understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's the purpose of this. Okay. So they pretty much right there. I mean, they're pretty much done. It's just that they need a little bit more salt. You can leave them in there for maybe another like five more minutes and it should be good. Okay, I'm gonna put these in. I'm on this. Is that hot? Hmm? Is that hot? Nope. Okay. Okay, got another little project to do, which is the hamburgers. I'm gonna flip the and, hamburgers. and what's like going SpongeBob. on? Okay, you wanna the reason why you took them out, you wanna flip them? Yes. Okay. Spongebob. Be careful with it. Now they turned out pretty good uh, as far as um like I said, these particular hamburgers, the ones that you buy that's already um, already uh, ready, 
I normally put maybe some uh, cream of mushroom soup, cream of chicken soup, or something like that on them inside, you know, in this. But the kids did not want that. They wanted regular hamburgers. So I told him to put a little water in because these hamburgers, that particular hamburger, usually stick really, really bad on top of the stove. And I never really would call uh, cook them inside the stove without some type of um, uh, liquid with them. So I told him to put a little bit of water in there because of that reason. So that's why you see the water. But at this point, if it was me, if I was doing it, I would pull that water off of it right now because I think that they're not going to stick now. But I'm not going to take him down through that. But I will at some point uh, take that off. Or when I go out of here, I may take it out. Okay. Okay, we they probably gonna stay in. The hamburger's probably gonna stay in about another ten minutes. And they should be good and good and ready. About another ten minutes. So uh oh, I put it up too far. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. So there's probably gonna be a part three. It's not, I'm gonna all, I'm gonna join them all together, so it's not gonna be a part two, it's just gonna Perfect. put them all together. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, while they're doing that, I'm gonna decorate the table. So, I'm just gonna decorate the you. table? Yeah, I'm just gonna show y'all. No, I don't think we're gonna decorate no table today. No, we're not gonna do that today. We're just gonna go from here. Okay. Mm hmm. Uh, she's over there doing homework and stuff, so. Alright, y'all, we'll be back in just a minute. So, now we're gonna make the vegetables. Let's go with this meal. So I'm gonna use a knife just like I did for my own. I'm gonna stack it. I'm about to show you another way that looks so dangerous just being. So okay. now I'm gonna pour. Did you wash the bowl out? Yes. Okay. I'll wash the bowl. Okay. At least a um, at least a good square. Okay. Good um, square. Wait. 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 Because we're just gonna put this in the microwave, right? Yes. Just gonna put it in the microwave. Basically, with uh, mixed vegetables, the only thing I do with mixed veg vegetables on the stove and in the microwave is I put a little butter in there. I put a little butter in there and I got it. I put a little butter in there. I cover it up. Um, now, I don't usually cover it up on the stove, but I might want to put a, a paper towel on top of it on the, in the microwave. Uh, but that's it. That's all I do. Turn on the other side. Turn on, let's flip it over. Okay, now yeah, put it in the microwave. Put so, it. how many minutes? I would just put it on maybe like five minutes and let's just see what it does. So, mm -hmm. I felt like that they need some type of vegetable, so I was gonna do a salad, but my my uh, lettuce had, uh, had gotten real soft and that was not gonna work, so. We had to find another um, vegetable, so that would be, that's it. So I'm going to take out the things okay. as soon as I put all this stuff on. Okay. It may already be one in the freezer. Oh yeah. So basically all you're doing is just putting your butter in a Ziploc bag now since you're opening it up like that. To me, that's very important to keep down freezer burn. So that's why I teach them when they when they open up butter, put it back in a Ziploc bag. Okay. So now, sure. I'm
we're gonna let the we're gonna let the, the hamburger stand a little while longer. I did take the uh, water out of it, so we're gonna turn that oven up a little bit more to like 450, so we can cook. Let them get a, like a little uh, a little crust on them a little bit, and then we're gonna let them probably cook about another 10 minutes, and then we're gonna have them out. And let's see what he got here. See if it's enough salt on them. I want this. I'll be this better. Do we need any more salt? Yes. Yeah. Really? A little bit. So. I know you should never not supposed to sprinkle salt. Sprinkle salt is not it's not good for blood pressure and so forth. Raw salt, in other words, what I'm saying. But we can sprinkle a little bit more salt on them because it do need it. Yes. Okay, you want salt? But I'm gonna say they good though. Zach, ooh. Go ahead and sprinkle it and then we'll stir it. Go ahead and sprinkle it. Okay, okay, okay. Lord, you really hitting that, that spot over there. So you're gonna rake it like you did before. Them fries, they good though. And this is a meal that's cooked in less than what 30 minutes about 30 minutes, really less than that for real. Hmm, no, it ain't been no 40. No, <laughs> 20 minutes is the first time, and then this had to go up on 10 more minutes. I mean, that's 10 more minutes, 40 minutes. Um, it's probably it, I could have did it in a lot less than that. I'm gonna tell them that less than 30 minutes for me. This is just because of it being you. But if you was doing it, you could do this in less than 30 minutes. Don't keep picking at them. We can we can make this meal in 30 minutes. So uh, is it, what it, how, is it enough salt now? Yes. Is it too much? No. Okay. It's perfect. Okay. So this thing only lasts like a minute. And okay, and they will be stirred. Yes. And after they are stirred, then they'll be ready. We come back. We come back in just a short short. Okay. Now we're done with everything. So we got burgers. We got mixed vegetables. And we got some French fries. As you can see, we got buns too. Mark is trying to put it. You know, mm -hmm. ketchup warm. Oh, okay. he just took the off. Okay, so I'm gonna bust the food. Okay. Mark, stop what you're doing. I think it was food. I think it was food. Was it just food? Was it just food? Was it just food? Amen. Amen. Amen, each of y'all love it. Okay, y'all, thank y'all for thank y'all for watching our video. And he did a great job. And I'm going to tell y'all that seasoning that I was unsure about, that season is really good. So I went back and put some on the fries. I didn't put any on, on the, but I bet it tastes good on those mixed vegetables too. But anyway, uh, what are we going to say now? Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace and love sent to y'all.